Your next Vivify triggers a Zen Pulse on your target and all allies with Renewing Mist on them. Can I just crank out some Renewing Mist here? Okay. And I'm going to Vivify. Oh. Yes. 100% yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very excited about this. So this is our current two set on live, which makes it so when you press Renewing Mist, you give them Chi Harmony, increasing their healing taken from you by 50%. This is amazing. I thought they were going to be going away with it, but no, Chi Harmony right here. This is like such a good talent. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. This is some alpha gameplay for the War Within. And this is the kind of the second part of going over the Mistweaver slash Monk talents. Today, I'm going to be going over the Mistweaver talents. But before that, if there's anything you want to see, dungeons, talents, anything at all, please let me know. Put it in the comments and I will happily do it. I plan doing a lot of testing this time around. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. So they changed some things around. They gave us some new talents. They got rid of some talents. So let's go over that. So first of all, gonna get your enveloping mist. Hasn't changed. They got rid of essence font and they moved thunder focus T. So thunder focus T is now at the top of the tree as well as manatee, which is really nice. And we also get our renewing mist. So nothing really changes too much. None of these spells really change. We get our life cocoon as well. We get our healing elixir. We have our invigorating mist, which again, is one point i'm pretty sure it's still and then that's what makes it so vivify heals anybody with a new mist on them we choose between restoral and revival these talents have not changed crane style is new so rising sun kick now kicks up a gust of mist to heal two allies within 40 yards for an x amount spinning crane kick and black kick have a chance to kick up a gust of mist to heal one ally within 40 yards for a certain amount so that's pretty cool. I mean, I think that's a good talent. It's obviously going to help fist weaving a lot. We get our teaching of the monastery, which is the the blackout kick charges stacks up to four times, and then your blackout kicks has a chance to reset the main cooling and rising sun kick hasn't changed. We get our common coalescence, which makes it so our soothing mist heals make our life cocoon stronger, and then we also get nourishing chi, which makes it so when we life cocoon, uh, people you know they take extra healing from us, and then. After Life Cocoon's over, they still do more healing. So really, really good talents here. They haven't changed though, which is nice. And then we have Uplift to Spirits, which increases the healing of Revival or Restoral by 50, and it puts like a 15%, whatever healing you did as a hot, which is great. And then reduces the cooldown of it by one second whenever you crit with Vivify or Rising Sun Kick. Still gonna be useful for, for both casted healing and fist weaving in my opinion, which is gonna be kind of nice. I like it a lot. They did move Energizing Brew and Life Cycles, by the way, to here. They removed the uh, essence font. I think it was, I forget what it was called, upwelling, or maybe upwelling was down. No, I think upwelling was right here. They removed that, and then they, they just gave us. They moved these two talents here. So mana T channels fifty percent faster and generates twenty percent more mana. Same thing as live, and then life cycles makes it so. Yeah, vivify has a twenty percent chance to make your next rising sun kick give you a stack of mana T, and then envelop mist and rising sun kick have a twenty percent chance to make your vivify grant you a stack of mana T. Same thing as live. Zen Pulse. So Zen Pulse has been reworked. It is no longer like an active spell. It is now a passive. And it makes it so when Renewing Mist Heal Over Time has a chance to cause your next Vivify to also trigger a Zen, a Zen Pulse on its target and all allies with Renewing Mist. So that means if you have a ton of Renewing Mist out and your Vivify gets that proc chance and you press Vivify, everyone's going to get that Zen Pulse. And it will heal them for X amount increased by 6% for each Renewing Mist active up to 30%. So that's really cool, right? Uh, that, that's amazing. I don't see that Zen Pulse does damage though. It looks like Zen Pulse is just going to be doing healing for now. Unless one of these talents down here makes it do damage. But I only see that the Zen Pulse does healing. But I think this is going to be fantastic. Our spread healing is going to be crazy. I'm, I'm interested to see how often it's going to proc. But obviously if you have more Renewing Mist out, the more of a chance it has to... To proc for you, Vivify. I would also argue that Vivacious Vivification is going to be good too, then, even if you're fist weaving, because if you get that proc and you want the extra healing, you just instant Vivify and you get all that simples. Rapid Diffusion looks like it's the same thing as Live. So Rising Sun Kick and Envelop Mist apply Renewing Mist for six seconds to an ally within 40 yards. Same thing as Live. Uh, deep Clarity. After you fully consume Thunder Focus T, your next Vivify triggers Zempos. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so after you Thunder Focus T, so. Where's my Thunder Focus T? So after you Thunder Focus T, I should be able to just proc it, right? Or I should be able to just definitely get it. Let me just see real quick. So you press Thunder Focus T, right? I got my Thunder Focus T. I press it. I used up, used it up. Oh, there we Zen Pulse. Oh, we get a little we got a little proc thing. Miss Weaver's never had this before. This is cool. So your next Vivify triggers a Zen Pulse on your target and all allies with Renewing Mist on them. Can I just crank out some Renewing Mist here? Okay. And I'm going to Vivify. 
Oh. Yes. 100% yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. That is so cool. And you it's a buff. So, oh yeah, it's a proc. So you could just crank it. Boom. I'm in love. I'm in love. Okay. This is really cool. I because I was so disappointed with Zen Pulse with how it is now on live. Oh wow. So and it's increased by six percent per renewing mist active. So obviously if you want to get the max value in Mythic Plus, you can be able be able to get the max value. In Rage, you can be able to get the max value because you only need five renewing mist out. PvP, you're probably not gonna be able to because you're only gonna be able to have like three. You're only gonna be able to have three, right? Chi G and Yulon, the same. Overflowing Mist, your Envelope Mist heals the target for 2% of the max health each time they take damage. Same thing as Live. Mist to Life. Life Cocoon applies your new Mist and Envelope Mist. Same thing as Live. Chrysalis and Burst of Life. They just look like they moved it a bit, but it's the same thing. So Chrysalis reduces the cooldown of Life Cocoon by 45 seconds. Or Burst of Life. When Life Cocoon expires, it releases a Burst of Mist that restores X amount to three nearby allies. Never, I haven't been a fan of Burst of Life since they added it. I mean, in BFA... They added this and you were able to stack it and it was a really good heal, but I feel like it's been like kind of lackluster since they brought it to the talent tree. So Chrysalis is probably gonna be the go-to. Yulon's Whisper is this animation right here. Not, it, it, I've never had anything special, you know, nothing really too crazy with it, but um, yeah, it's okay. And I get a little Zen Pulse. Love it. I love it. I freaking love it. Mist Trap right here. So this increases in Velvet Mist Duration by one second and it's healing bonus by 10%. I like this a lot. I like I like this talent a lot. I always have. Um, I think it's just good because Envelope Mist is like one of your top heals. Celestial Harmony. So while active, Yulon and Chi-Gi heal up to five newer allies with Enveloping Breath. And when you cast Enveloping Mist, you give them another hot. So pretty much you Yulon, right? And then you put Enveloping Mist out. And it just gives, it should give them another heal right here. So the Enveloping Breath right here, which makes it so they take 10% in increased healing from you. It also reduces the mana cost on your spells up here by 50%, which is nice. So Enveloping Mist isn't too scared to press during it. Dancing Mist, Renewing Mist has a 10% chance to immediately spread to an additional target when initially cast or when traveling to a new target. So it could work pretty well with the Zen Pulse change, um, which is kind of nice. But overall, I don't really use this in PvP, mostly just a rating thing. Chi Harmony, I'm very excited about this. So this is our current two set on live, which makes it so when you press Renewing Mist, you give them Chi Harmony, increasing their healing taken from you by 50%. So that is that is our current two set. I am so happy this isn't centered, by the way. This is amazing. I thought they were going to be going away with it, but no. Chi Harmony right here. This is like such a good talent. Um, really happy they brought it back in the talent tree. Next, we have Shailun's Gift. Same thing as live. Um, every eight seconds, you generate a cloud. It's just a ton of AoE healing. Focus Thunder. Focus Thunder Focus Heal now empowers your next two spells. So that's good, right? Um you could just do a little uh, little Focus Thunder here. You just press your Thunder Focus T. This works with the Master of Harmony talent tree as well. Press Thunder Focus T, and you get the little thing. Oh, we got a little Zen Pulse. Boom. Love it. Jade Bond. I don't really play Jade Bond a lot. I mostly play Gift of, Gift of Celestials, which makes it so the cooldown of your Invoke Yulon or Chi Gi is reduced, but the duration is only 12 seconds, but they're so powerful that you want it for that one minute. Peer into Peace, they just added this on live. So 5% of your overhealing done onto targets is spread to three, three new allies. But more importantly, your Soothing Mist now follows whoever you envelop Mr. Vivify. So I could target him and then I could target this guy with my Vivify. So I don't need to repress Soothing Mist. I just press Vivify when enveloping Mist and it just keeps going back and forth, back and forth. You keep doing it. It saves so many globals in PvP at least, which is nice. So Jade Fire Stomp, again, same as live. You strike the ground and you just do damage. It activates Ancient Teachings if you're playing it. So that's really cool. That has not changed at all. Same with Ancient Concordance. Same with Awakened Feline. Same with Dance of Chi Gi. Same with Tea of Plenty and Tea of Serenity, as well as Ancient Teachings. This is all this whole corner is exactly the same. This is gonna be your fist weaving. Most of your fist weaving build will be down here. And it's just a ton of damage. This is where you do damage to heal. So good talents here. If you're fist weaving over here, we have resplendent mist. This was nerfed from live. So on live, it's two points still where gust of mist has a 30% chance to do 75%, 150% more healing. This has 50 slash hundred percent do more healing. So it was nerfed by a good chunk. We just got to stack more mastery then secret infusion. Same thing as live. Whenever you use thunder focus T the first spell you use gives you an 8% stat. 
and then it's two points, so it's 16% of a stat, 15% of a stat, uh, depending on what you press. Misty Peak shooting mist, heal over time is a two two and a half percent chance of doing development mist. Yeah, this was nerfed, still nerfed, still five percent chance, which is really unfortunate because I really like this in season one of of Dragonflight, but they did nerf it pretty heavily, so I don't use it anymore. It's peaceful mending, same as live. Whenever you use soothing mist on somebody, that target, if they have uh, soothing mist on them, takes forty percent more healing from your enveloping mist and renewing mist. So really good. This, by the way, a lot of people don't know it, but this actually affects your statue as well. So a lot of people, you could just touch your statue and then the soothing mist that the statue's doing count as that soothing mist uh for peaceful mending which is nice and then we have two talents down here that buff our shaylin's gift so we have veil of pride which makes it so shaylin's gift cloud of mist generates uh every four seconds instead of eight which is great so you get to use it much more often with higher stacks or you get shout house lessons which you get a certain buff depending on the buff you get. I always liked Veil of Pride just because you can keep cranking out Shadowlands Gift, but the stats from Shadowlands Lessons is pretty good too. And then Legacy of Wisdom, uh, Shadowlands Gift heals two additional allies and its cast time is reduced by 0.5 seconds. Again, really, really good um, talent just because it's it's what? It's a 1.6 second cast. A lot can happen in the 1.6 seconds. And then we have the final just row right here. N nothing has changed here, by the way, nothing. Rising Mist, Rising Sun Kick, uh, heals all allies with Renewing Mist on them, and it extends those hots uh, up to 100% of the original duration, so Fist Weaving. And then you also have Tier of Mourning, which just buffs our Vivify when teammates have Renewing Mist on them, and then also increases the healing, your spread healing through the Invigorating Mists. So good talent to have if you're casting. Rising Mist good if you're Fist Weaving. Invoker's Delight, you gain 33% haste for 20 seconds after summoning your Celestial, so if you just, you know, you get this, you get this, and then you summon Yulon or Chiji. You just get a ton of haste. I, let me see. My haste right now is 26%. If I Yulon, it goes up to 68%, which is absolutely insane. And there's the buff right there. So absolutely wild. Uh, it's just... Oh, oh, that's my spell book. That's so cool. It's insane. And then finally, we have Many Proliferation or Unison. So this hasn't changed either. Each time you invoke Mist Heals, it gives a, the healing bonus that's a 50% chance, chance to spread to an ally. Your Envelope Mist has a healing bonus attached to it, which I believe is, oh, my targeting keybinds don't work, which I believe is 30%, 40%. So that 40% healing bonus can travel to another teammate. Or you have Unison, where Soothing Mist Healing, uh, Soothing Mist Heals a second injured ally within 40 yards for 35% of the amount healed. Kind of wish that they would play around with that unison number a bit more just because it doesn't i feel like it doesn't get much value but i think still think it's good but yeah that's the monk talent tree not much has changed to it i think most of the rework was done to the monk side of the tree but for miss weaver you know essence fawn's gone oh something i also did did want to note is there is no more cloud of focus cloud of focus has been removed it is no more so I'm a little sad, but in PvP, it is kind of toxic when like people outrange you and you drop your Cloud of Focus tax. And I'm sure in PvE, you're moving a lot more. So you probably hate that as well. So Cloud of Focus is gone and Essence Font is gone. That, those are the big takeaways from the talent tree. Everything else is pretty much the same. They've added a few new talents here, which is nice. I am loving the Zen Pulse change, by the way. Loving this. This is my new favorite talent, by the way. It's my new favorite talent. I love it. I love it. It's going to help cast a Mistweaver as well. I'm, I'm very excited for Zen Pulse. It's just that healing is so nice. Um, but yeah, that is it for me. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And if you want to see anything from Alpha, please comment it below and I will get get there as fast as I can. And that's it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.